Well, good evening, everybody. Um, this is Pastor Reverend Gloria Harlow Drummond. This is going to be a very special video. I know that I just now just uploaded about an hour ago. I uploaded the Walmart Shuffle. You know, with with all the silliness and all that kind of stuff. But this is an eye-opening video, and I'm not even sure how to title it. What to title it? I'm wearing my crown tonight. I'm wearing my crown. I'm going to say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said amen. All right. The silliness and the fun and games are over. Are over. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm going to copy three videos that Watchman, the Watchman on the Hour, Miss Nikki Pratt, uploaded earlier along with um let's see hang on just a minute this this is an eye opener a 2018 warning message and she she Nikki is calling her she's anonymous but she's calling her from the Trump blower one bondage all right, I'm just giving you the giving you the highlights. I'm giving giving you all the highlights. Welcome to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. I want you, all of you, to please, um, if you want to share the video, invite people to this channel. Invite and invite your followers or whoever to Mrs. Nikki Pratt to her channel. She is a true woman of God. She's a true woman of God. All right. Repent. Disaster. Disease. Famine. The nines represents judgment. Ezekiel chapter 7, verses 7 through 17. All right. One of her videos was 18 minutes and 18 seconds. One plus eight is nine. One plus eight is nine. 99, judgment. Something's coming. Something's coming. And there's been a lot of us that's been feeling more drawn, more and more drawn to Jesus every day. Getting into, getting into the word, reading the Bible, praying, Praying for families, a shaking, a shifting, a sifting, and separation. Gathering together the sheep from the goats. All right, Psalms 37. All right, and the three sevens. Seven, seven, seven means completion. The end is coming. Ninth hour alarm. Beware of attacks on movie and cinemas. Movies and cinemas. It's on. It's on. So, like I said, I don't know even know what I'm even going to title this yet. I I don't even know. I mean, because some of you some of you watch all of my videos, some of you don't. But this is very, very, very urgent. It's very urgent. God ain't playing around. He ain't playing around. We've all, a lot of us have been saying it for a long time. The watchman on the wall, and that's what I am. I'm a disciple of the Lord. Never mind anything else. Never mind anything else. The silliness and all that. This is very important. I got back from Walmart earlier. So... In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I'm going to bring these videos up. I'm going to put them on there. One of them is 18 minutes and 18 seconds. One of them is 
three minutes and something, and I forget what the other one is. They're all not. They're not. They're not all real long. But it is imperative that you all watch these videos. That you all watch these videos. I ask you and pray about it. You believers, the believers of Jesus Christ, you believers of the end times, because you better bet we are there. We are there. We're there. So I love you guys. And God will that no man perish. And a lot of people perish from lack of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. So hopefully these videos that I'm going to share, I'm going to share with you all will open up some people's eyes. The ones that, that don't know some things. Maybe, maybe they will after they see the, these, these videos. She's put a lot of them up there. And people just, just pass them by and they say, well, she's just... You know, she, she don't know what she's talking about and all this. Believe me, she knows what she's talking about. All right. I'm going to turn turn this around. First, I'm going to get, I'm going to bring these videos up. We're already into six minutes now already. I'm going to bring these videos up, people. And you know I love you all very, very much with all my heart. I love you all very much. All right, let's see. Which one did she do first? Okay, she did this one first. A 2018 warning message from Trumpet Blower 1. She did this one here first, so I'm going to record it first. I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to turn this around. Turn this around. Try to get it as good as I can. Nikki Pratt upload, yeah. Warning message from Trumpet Blower 1. Now pay very close attention. I want you to, I got you guys to play very close attention. Hello, you guys. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to all my subscribers, uh, new and former subscribers. Um, I mean, the Lord is affirming and confirming his word back to back. I am just in awe. The video I just did telling you guys about giving you a word and mentioning 2018 and, and, and what's to come. I did it backwards, but it's okay. It, it, it's just going to be a fun ride, you guys. It's, it's going to be, it's going to be pretty bad. And, uh... The video was 18 minutes and 18 seconds long. And as soon as I clicked off the video, it was 8.01. 8.01 when I stopped recording. This video right here is another um, powerful word. This word, when you guys hear it, but I must tell you, this message, this word right here is a message from, I'm going to call her, uh, she's going to remain anonymous, so uh, we've talked and she will be uh, announced on this channel as the trumpet blower, the trumpet blower. Uh, the enemy has been attacking her. Uh, you know, because of, of bringing words like this, the enemy don't want these words to be heard. But this is a trumpet blower warning. And as I listen to it, you know, I promised her that if she get a word, I will bring the word forward so it can be heard. So it's still going to get out. The enemy is still defeated. It's still going to get out. She is not able to uh, bring it forward. Uh, she had trouble just trying to get it emailed uh, to me from the library. So uh, I am being obedient. I mean, this, 
So, man. And then even in this message that I'm about to, you're going to hear her. Not me. <laughs> you're going to hear her. I don't steal no words. But uh, the, one of the, I won't bring this one forward, this morning forward until tomorrow. Because I got another one before I do this real strong one. And, and what she even speaks about in this message on bondage is, is a lot of what I have been talking about. And this is just confirmation all day long about oppression and bondage. I'm going to shut up and let you guys hear it. Prophet Law 1 for 2018. The coming year shall be disaster. 2018 is the year. No amount of preparation can prepare one for what is about to fall upon this nation. It will be my wrath and fury loosed on the earth. My nose smells sin and my eyes see abomination against the Holy One of Israel. I will use kings and princesses to come against you. America, you would be abhorred as evil words. They pronounce horn upon themselves because they went after other gods. I hear the chains of bondage wrapped around minds and hearts. Mm. I see people enjoying pain and calling it pleasure. Lord have mercy. My wrath is upon man for his ignorance. My people are perishing for a lack of knowledge. People, you are choosing ignorance instead of wisdom. Your bread shall be sorrow. Your work that you would do will be for no wages because you have sold your rights and privileges to the evil one. A harsh God, you say, but you have not seen the beginning of my wrath. Your flesh shall burn from an incurable disease. No man will be able to cure or no antidote will work. Your only hope is repentance and pledge in your allegiance to a holy God. What can man do to the body that cannot be done to the soul? Your soul is valuable. Your houses and cars, your cattle, your stock holdings and all are worthless when it comes to your soul. I gave you life, but the enemy is after your soul. Fear God, fear evil, because your adversary, the devil, is walking the earth, seeking whom he may devour. And I see some of you are right in his mouth. This is your warning. Be faithful unto the end. Men's hearts will fail them for fear of uncertain things. They will follow folly rather than truth. A fable will quickly be believed while the truth is held hostage. Men will have to decide whom they will follow in this upcoming war. My name is plastered on the hearts of some that will not sell me out, but others will run at the mention of my name. People, it is time to put on the whole arm of God so you will be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. The enemy has come for his last battle. He must have one last battle in the earth before I come. Even so, he will not win. This enemy will come as an adversary roaring like a lion. This will be your key to start worship. In your heart you will sing, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that is planted by the water, I shall not be moved. It is time to move away from fear. The moment you hear this sound of a roaring lion, draw nigh unto me. I have shelter already prepared. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. I have a prepared place for all worshipers. A worshiper will follow me anywhere, wherever I go. Listen, children, for the worst sound you have ever heard. Then it will be time to draw nigh unto me. When my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves in prayer and seek my face and then turn from all evil and wickedness, then will I hear the cry of my people. Listen for the sound of pain. Your ears will ring with agony. Let your eyes see horror. Let your nose smell the stench of death. All these things must be. They are the beginning of sorrow. I have come to a people who need hope, who need the true and living God as a Savior. I am has come to save and set free. Be ready when I come, the words of the Lord. Okay. I have to uh, 
Um, you can hear scriptures in there. When, when words come forth, we also have scriptures with, with them to let you know this is not nothing made up. <laughs> if you want to know if somebody is um, in this hour is really being used by the Lord, they're not going to, you would, that's not being used by the Lord. They're going to tell you all is well, all is good, peace, 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 when there is no peace. That's what them messengers going to do, but not on this channel. No, 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 sir. No, 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 ma'am. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Because I, I just cannot get over how her words and the one that I just brought, it was some similarities. That is the confirmation, affirmation, and the power of the Holy Spirit on one accord. Wow. Even the, even the, the, the other message, man, the other message that I, I, I have to bring in, I think I'm, I'm going to do that one tomorrow. I'm, I'm telling you, it's like, I thought I wasn't going to stop writing. I mean, my, my pen, it was like it could catch fire. I was writing so fast. But, uh, you guys, Pray, take heed, watch, and pray. Just like she said, the adversary, the devil. See you next video. Thanks. Okay, hold on. Hold on a minute. Better bring up the other one. Okay. Okay, this one is um, Ninth Hour Alarm, Repent, Disaster, Famine, Disease. That's, that's the next one. Hello, you guys. Welcome to my channel, Jesus Wants You. I'm the watchman on the wall, Nikki Pratt. I hope you guys have had a blessed holiday through um, these coming days. Uh, didn't come on, get to come on yesterday and um, say hello or something, but um, I did think that when I would come forward on these, uh, doing more videos, that I would come out in warning mode, but I have to be obedient. So with that said, um, there's a lot to share. I want to say a quick prayer and um, yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, Lord God, for us to commune, Lord God, and meet and hear, Lord God, what is being said in the spiritual realm, Lord God, awakening our spirits, Lord God, preparing us, oh Lord, for what is to come, Father, I bind every demonic tear snare, every assignment and agenda, Lord God, that will come against your people. I bind every hindrance and distress and spirit in their life. I pray, Lord God, that their hearts will be open and ready to receive. Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that they not only be hearers of your word, but doers of your holy word. Lord God, convince them to conviction, Lord God, so that they will repent in Jesus' name. Lord God, in Jesus' name, you said in your word that whosoever shall call on your name shall be saved. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. All right. Repent. Disaster. Disease. Famine. Judgment. I've been seeing a pattern of nine um, for the last two days. And this has to be done today. Okay. Uh, go ahead and turn your Bible to the, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7. The, there is some, this is very profound in, in many ways. But Ezekiel chapter 7, verses 7 through 17, I'm going to go ahead and read this in two versions because I don't want excuses. Nobody will have an excuse to say they didn't understand or they didn't hear. Okay. A lot of you in your Bibles, 
when you look at this chapter, you may have headings in your Bible. In the heading in my Bible, it says, the end is come. Now, uh, listen, when you hear this message, this don't mean that this is the end of the world. But let me tell you, it is, um, not the end of the world, but uh, it will be the end for a lot of people who's uh, on the wrong side of the sword because the judgment is in the land. It's going to be an end to those who don't um, turn to Christ, who don't accept him and who reject him. Okay, Uh, verse 7, the morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land, the time is come, the day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains, this is coming out of the King James Version first, verse 8, now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee, and accomplish mine anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. And mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and thine abominations that are in the midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am the Lord that smiteth. Behold, the day, behold, it is come. The morning is gone forth. The rod hath blossomed, pride hath budded. Violence is risen up into a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain, nor of their multitude, nor of any of theirs. Neither shall there be wailing for them. The time is come. The day draweth near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn. For wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. For the seller shall not return that which is sold, although they were yet alive. For the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof which shall not return, neither shall any strengthen himself in the iniquity of his life. They have blown the trumpet. Ah, me, others that's doing this. They have blown the trumpet even to make all ready, to make all ready. (laughs) But none goeth to battle, for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. The sword is without, and the pestilence and the famine within He that is in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. But they that escape of them shall escape, and shall be on the mountains like doves of the valleys, all of them mourning, every one for his iniquity. Verse 17, all hands shall be feeble, all knees shall be weak as water. All right, I'm going to read the same thing in the Amplified Version. And uh, the heading on this is, and the Amplified is, punishment for wickedness foretold. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Also, son of man, thus says the Lord God to the land of Israel, and end. The end is coming on the four corners of the land. Now the end is upon you, and I will send my anger against you, and will judge you in accordance with your ways, and I will bring retribution for your abominations upon you for my eye will have no pity on you nor will i spare you but i will repay you for your evil ways while your abominations are among you and you will know recognize and understand without any doubt that i am the lord thus says the lord god a disaster is coming one so destructive and injurious so sudden and violent that it stands alone, a unique disaster. Look, it is coming. An end is coming. The end has come. It has awakened against you. Look, it has come. Your doom has come to you, O inhabitant of the land, which means everybody, okay? The time has come. The day is near. Tumult rather than joyful shouting on the mountains. Now I will soon pour out my wrath on you and spend my anger against you. And I will judge you in in accordance with your ways and will repay you with punishment for all your outrageous acts. My eye will show no pity, nor will I spare you. 
I will repay you in accordance with your ways while your abominations are in your midst. Then you will know and understand that it is I, the Lord, who strikes you. Behold the day. Behold, it is coming. Your doom has gone forth. The rod has blossomed. Arrogance has sprouted. Violence has grown into a rod of wickedness. None of them, Israel, will remain. None of their people, none of their wealth, nor anything imminent among them. The time has come. The day has arrived. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn. For wrath is against all the all their multitude of people. For the seller will not regain and return what he sold, even were they yet alive for the vision of punishment regarding all the people will not be turned back, nor will any one of them sustain his life because of sin. They have blown the trumpet and have made everything ready, but no one is going to battle, for my wrath is against all their multitude of people. The sword is outside vir virulent disease and famine or within. He who is in the field will die by the sword, and famine and disease will devour those in the city. Even when their survivors escape, they will be on the mountains like doves of the valleys, all of them moaning each over his punishment for sin. All hands will hang limp, and all knees will be as weak as water. In the middle of reading that, I just finished all that, and it's um, nine minutes. I'm nine minutes in. <laughs> this is the ninth hour of judgment. In the middle of reading that, there was, a, 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 you know, you, you well up a little bit like you want to cry. That was almost about to happen. I had to really, really catch myself. This is. You should, some of you, a lot of you are feeling this drawing, this pulling, this, this need to pray more, to commune more with the Lord, to read more of your Bible, to draw near and near and near as close as you can. I'm feeling it. We, you also shall feel, um, uh, mm, 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 mm. you also shall feel, um, uh, um, this urgency and this feeling of something's coming. Okay? Something's coming. I know it ain't just me. And I know a lot of you out there are feeling the same thing. And this drawing to pray more is is, is for you, your families, and for and, and for you to intercess on um, your family's behalf loved ones that you know that is not saved. Um, you know, Harvest Army has been doing these videos that saying, gather, gather. And, um, you know, right before judgment was coming, um, you know, in the Bible, in Noah days, there was a gathering, just like uh, Harvest Army said, and we know that through patterns throughout the Bible, there was a gathering. It is time to not only gather people you know and warn you know, the people that you know, don't be fooled by Satan that's saying that, you know, it's not your business and you're just going to keep your mouth closed. No, say something to your sister or your brother or your cousin. Like, look, you know, um, I just want to let you know that, you know, things are getting ready to, you know, I said this the other day and somebody sent me the same words that the Lord told me. There's a shaking and a shifting and a sifting going on, a shaking, a sifting, and a shifting going on. With that said, there's also a separation because there's the sheep from the goats and the wheat from the tares. And if there's uh, Psalm 37, <laughs> Psalm 37 talks about the wicked and the righteous. That's all I'm going to say on that. Okay, this is something I want to point out to you guys. Ezekiel chapter 7. This came from Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 7 through 17. See, we have three sevens. Now, I'm not bringing all this up, prophesying anything 
about these seven. Please don't don't turn this around and make this out of something that it, it isn't. This is just something that uh, I paid attention to. It, 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 how can I say this? This is what I see, okay? This, this is this part of the gift, okay? Uh, the end is come. Is, is what the, the heading was. But the, these seven, we, this year is about to, to end. We're getting ready to come into 2018. You know, the number seven is the number of completion. And, and I just, you know, I want to point out some things that I found was interesting. How about that? The new president-elect, Donald Trump, was born 700 days before Israel was established. He was born on May 14th, 1940. No, 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 I'm sorry. Israel was established, I'm sorry, May 14th, 1948. And it was 777 days old, 77 days after Israel's birth of 19, rebirth of 1948. So let me re- rephrase that. New president-elect was born 700 days before Israel was established as a nation, May 14, 1948. And 777 days old, 77 days after Israel's 1948 rebirth, the rebirth, on January 20th this year, 2017, Trump took oath of office exactly 70 years, 7 months, and 7 days from his birthday. I'm going to say that again. 70 years, 7 months, and 7 days from his birthday. We are in the ninth hour judgment. Next year, it's 2018. Harvard Sorman pointed this out a couple of months back. And, you know, I, I was just, I know one day earlier this year, I was like, how long is this ninth hour judgment deal is going to last? And they, did a video and they said that 2018 is going to be the new year. One plus eight is nine. That number nine, nine equals judgment. That's why I'm seeing a pattern of nine. And when I see that, that is my cue. Give out that ninth hour warning. This warning is for, for you guys to repent Govern yourselves, go before the Lord, seek his face, cry out, cry out for behalf of yourselves, your family, your friends, co-workers, enemies, frenemies, cover yourselves in the blood of Jesus. It's time to speak these songs and make melodies in your heart and and um, speak to people that you know not saved, pray for those that you know not saved, and um I'm telling you guys, it's fixing to get real. Next year, I'm not, I mean, just like this word says, it says that your wickedness uh, has, has, you know, it's, it's crazy. We have families, mothers and, and fathers killing their babies and children and leaving them for dead. I mean, heinous crimes. And I mean, I... I can go on and on about the horrid evil that is taking place in this world. The Lord is not going to stand for it any longer. The Bible says he will not always strive with man. But yes, he is long-suffering. But you guys, it's, we, we, we got to you got to tighten your belt. you got to gird your loins. you got to pray without ceasing, just like the Bible says. 
pray without ceasing. Stick closer to the Father. Stick closer to Him than sardines in a can. I mean, uh, stick. I can't stress that no more. Like I said earlier in the video, I know you feel this drawing, this pulling, this... Wow. Anyway, I'm going to end this video right here. I love you guys. See you next video because there is more warnings to come. Amen. Okay, hold on a minute. Make sure I want to make sure I get them all. Okay. This next one is Ninth Hour Alarm Beware of Attacks on Movie Cinemas. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Jesus wants you. I'm the watchman on the wall, Nikki Pratt. Coming to you, bringing you a third warning video. This video is for all you uh, moviegoers, cinema, movie, moviegoers, cinema, moviegoers. Uh, listen, be very vigilant of your surroundings. Pray before you go anywhere. I say it all the time. Pray before you go anywhere. If you feel an unction in your spirit, then you, you shouldn't go to the movie. You mean, I mean, if you're gonna be like me, honey, watch the, I, I, it, it's safer to watch the movie on TV. I don't get to watch a movie. If I watch anything, it would be the news and Sometimes there's only three minutes or seven minutes of that. But recently, uh, for the first time in a long time, I watched a movie with my daughter, Christmas Day. And it was War Room. The uh, Christian movie, War Room. Yes. So, for all you moviegoers, uh, the movies is very expensive these days. You know, they want your profit share, 401k, and all that jazz just to see a movie. And, yeah, but, you know, a lot of these things are causing distraction. A lot of these movies, uh, you know, people, the world has people so blinded and so tuned in into things of this world, things that don't matter. I mean, meaning this, at all costs, keep your focus on Christ. But at the end of the day, be vigilant, be watchful of your surroundings. If you're gonna go to the movies, um, you know, a lot of kids, uh, teenagers are out, you know, during this holiday season. Pray. Pray before you go anywhere. Plead the blood of Jesus. Saturate and saturate your family members and, and uh, yourselves when you go to these movies and watch and pray. Again, this is a ninth hour warning. Uh, this kept coming up in my spirit. Keeps coming up in my spirit and has been for a while now. And uh, I'm releasing today. So... Be vigilant and be prayerful. All right. I love you guys. See you next video. Thanks. Okay. Hold on a minute. I think that's it. I think that's it. Let me turn this around. Okay, we're up to 39 minutes and 40, 47 seconds. Well, you heard everything that was said on there. We have to be, we have to be vigilant. 
we have to try try to get the word out as much as we can we have if you have family members that aren't saved we need to try to at least talk to them family members that aren't aren't saved so in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Ghost this is pastor Reverend Gloria Harlow Drummond bidding you all a good night and God ain't playing games he does have his wrath and he's getting ready ready to pour that wrath out he's getting ready he's getting ready people so like I said please share this you can leave me comments follow go to mrs I, I think I've sent a lot of people to, to, to Nikki's to Nikki's channel and we are all just watchmen on the wall nobody's perfect we've been called by the Lord in this last these last days these end times to try to win as many people over as we can because like I said earlier God will that no man perish that no man perish so I'm gonna do the Lord's Prayer then I'm gonna sign it out our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. Have mercy. Have mercy on us, Jesus.